lukewarm Christian. So you're not hot. You're not cold. You're just, you're just coasting by. You want to you wanna live the Christian life. You want to think that you could follow Christ and have zero persecution and make sure that everybody only speaks well of you and that no one's going to speak evil against you falsely for the name of Christ because you're not saying anything that anybody might possibly speak evil against you falsely for. You want to play it safe. And when you play it safe, you're on the side of wickedness. Because if you can't stand up and shout against the wicked, then, then what good are you? You need to be taught. And I love the way that Gideon teaches the lesson that these people had to learn. Now, it's also important to understand this, that in their desire to not have anything bad happen to them, and in their desire to try to stay out of it, what happens to these people? Well, it doesn't turn out very well for them. In Succoth's case, we're going to get there in a minute, they, get, they at least have their lives, but they get severely chastened. Severely chastened. Chastened worse than any of my kids have ever gotten chastened, I'll tell you that much. They get a thrashing. We'll cover that. But when it comes to Penuel, they lose their lives. He goes back and kills those, the men of that city. Let's keep reading here. Verse number eight. He says, And he went up thence to Penuel and spake unto them likewise. And the men of Penuel answered him as the men of Succoth had answered. So they're basically taking the same position. We're not going to help you. Oh, where is, where is Zeba and Zalmana? You don't have them yet? Yeah. Yeah. How about you go get them first and then maybe we'll help you out? You wicked people. And it's these, these fair weather Christians that, hey, if it's popular, great. Yeah, we're all for it. But as soon as something turns unpopular, as soon as people might start getting upset about what you say, zip the lips. And not only zip the lips, it's, yeah, we're not going to stand with you. We're not going to have anything to do with you. These are the same people when, when I'm thinking years ago when Pastor Anderson was in the news and the sodomites started going down the list of all the churches that he had on his website because he wasn't all about himself. He's saying, hey, these are all great churches and had all these churches for people to attend that, that were soul winning, KJV only, and they were right on the gospel. Those criteria, because I think that's great criteria to have if you're going to go to a church somewhere. I think that's pretty good. I think I could fellowship with someone that goes soul winning, that has the right gospel, and that, and that has the word of God. I think I could fellowship with that person. I think if, if they're trying to serve God and they have those fundamentals and those basics down, great. I'm going to go, I could go attend that church. I could go do that. That's fine. They may be different on some other doctrines, but look, we've got the basics down. Let's go win some souls to Christ. So he's got all these people on there, but then what happens is, Someone gets a little bit upset at the preaching, at the hate preaching, how hateful he is against perverts and pedophiles and, you know, really wicked people. And then, they, oh, no, 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 I don't, I don't have anything to do with that. The phone starts, oh, I, I need you to take me off that list. I need you to take me off of your recommended churches list. I, you know. While he's sending people that are probably some of the best church members that these churches have seen in a long time by having that up there, the people who actually care and love the Lord and want to go soldering and want to do the work, then they're going saying, oh yeah, just remove me. I don't, I don't want to be seen with you. We're not going to give you any bread while you're weary while you're in the fight, while you're in hot pursuit of these wicked people trying to destroy them and trying to just get them out of here, when you're, when you're in the battle, we don't want to help you at all. Now watch, when, when the nation actually starts coming around as if it ever does before God just rains judgment on us, if, if, if people ever start coming around, you know what, then you're going to start hearing, oh yeah, we're, you know, we believe the same way. We always have. And it'll, it'll treat it as if nothing ever happened. 
and you just want to ignore everything else. That's the way these people 